These fundamentals of impact are definitely going to improve your game because you got to know where you strike the ball. And the easiest way to find out is actually using an impact spray because sometimes your feel at impact does not reflect what's actually happening. I've hit millions of golf balls and sometimes I don't know where exactly I struck it. Or sometimes when I use the impact spray, I'm surprised that that impact felt that way. So I'll recommend you to get one of these. I'm using the ones from x Pro because they actually vanish after about five minutes. So it's a lot easier to clean up. And also, this doesn't stick to my impact screen in my studio. So that's <laughs> it's a lot easier to clean up. But look, now I got this very thin layer of spray of chalk on my face. That's what she said. <laughs> you can also use a foot spray and whatnot. There's a bunch of ways to do this. But to me, the most efficient way and the cleanest, especially the cleanest way to do this is using the x Pro. So here we go. And before I tell you what each of these impact zones actually means and which one you want to hit, let's hit one. Let's see where I strike it. Hopefully right in the middle because I mean, I don't need to tell you that hitting it in the middle of the face most of the time is pretty good, but there's more impact zones and there are some that are terrible and there are some that actually make sense. So here we go. Let's see what I do. I like it. I love it, love it, love it. Do you? It's actually not too bad. It's pretty much in the center of the face. But even with a square face, when you strike it off center in certain locations, doesn't mean that you hit a perfectly straight ball every time. So this one right here was pretty good. It was slightly high in the face. So in general, we can say that because of the bulge and roll of the club face, which is the curvature of it, we're dealing with certain flight characteristics in certain strike locations. So right here, and you see it already vanish, right? This is pretty cool. So it disappears. Wow. Just like magic. Magic. <laughs> so when you strike it high in the face, generally the ball launches higher and spins lower, which is a great combination for driving. So sometimes striking the ball a little bit higher in the face or having the tendency to actually strike it a little bit high in the face sacrifices a little bit of ball speed, but oftentimes creates a longer ball flight because the ball is more optimized. So it's launching higher and spinning lower, which is being created by the vertical gear effect. But there's also a horizontal gear effect, which is probably even more known because when you strike balls in the toe section, it's actually creating a leftward spin axis so for a right-handed player so when i strike it right here the ball actually curves left so to fight that a little bit and to correct that manufacturers came up with the bulge and roll of the face so the curvature of the face so what's happening is because of that curvature balls start for the right and they help the player to deal with the gear effect on the other side, in the heel section, the exact opposite happens. So these balls struck over here create a right curvature for a right-handed player. And the bulge of the face actually helps to deal with that by starting the ball more left. So now we can also strike it low in the face, which makes the ball start lower and spin more. And oftentimes that is the one that we do not want to create because we're humans, right? We're not robots. So when we're hitting most of the time, and let me, let me reapply the spray again. Most of the time when we're hitting as humans, especially with a driver, we're pretty much dealing with this type of hitting zone. So let me, let me try to mark this like this. So we're pretty much dealing with this impact zone. So more like high toe, center and low heel very rarely you see balls struck low on the toe and high on the heel i'm not saying it's impossible but these over here happen a lot more so now what we got to do or what we got to figure out is when we're hitting the ball in a certain location and because of the impact spray we know where we hit it we got to make the right adaptions 
right? We gotta find the right drill feel or whatever it might be to correct that when we're on the range. I would not recommend to do that when we're out on course because then you just play a game. But when you have the tendency to strike it in a certain location and do it over and over again, you gotta figure out what you gotta do to correct that. There's a bunch of ways to get your impact location more towards the center. For example, from up here to the center, from up there to the center, or from down here up to the center. So definitely, we want to get it more towards the center, wherever we are. So the very first step to this is actually being aware of where you strike it. And sometimes feel does not reflect that. And the second bit is for the vertical portion of this. So the up and down, for example, you strike it low in the face over and over and over and over again. One great idea for you would be to actually use a little bit longer tee because I see a lot of amateurs that actually use very short tees and when you thin it over and over again, allow yourself to hit a longer tee. When you strike it all over the face, and when you have the tendency to have it on the toe, on the toe, on the toe, or on the heel, on the heel, over and over again, these problems can be very individual. So I would recommend you to see your golf coach and try to do the first couple of steps to correct that. But being aware of it sometimes is already the solution to get better because then consciously and subconsciously you might be able to get it more towards the middle. That's why I recommend these impact sprays and actually check in where you strike it because you might be surprised. Boys and girls, comment down below if you've ever worked with one of these. Do you actually know where you strike it? I know some of you guys out there have used foot spray or like all different types of weird stickers that you can apply to the face and so on and so forth. The cool thing with this is that you can actually spray it on the face and hit like 10 balls, 15 balls in a row and you see your entire dispersion over the course of five minutes and then it disappears. Thank you so much for watching and also that you're subscribed. Thank you so much and also 